Okay, this is for the guys that wanted to know what model these motors were uh, that are in my mini wind turbines. So I've pulled one apart for you. It was a bit difficult to get the bits I might add because the uh, shaft no doubt has been sitting in there a very long time and um, being that it was near the ocean and that they were a bit rusted into the bearings so I had to clean it up a bit with the sandpaper and give it a good wallop with a hammer which resulted in pushing it out of the hub a bit but um, nonetheless that will go back in thankfully we didn't break the big round magnet inside so uh, all in the name of research we take these risks okay so this is the motor out of it and putting my big seeing eye goggles on I got all the numbers I could from it and that is what you need to find a NIDEC motor model number is E128280 uh, variation number I believe is a H4264 uh, this one is a 94 volt one um, 48F STD standard whatever those numbers mean so um, I believe it's 94 volt the only ones I could find um, were 12 to 24 volts but tucked in under there I can read 94V whether that means 94 volts or not I'm not sure but uh, with those numbers there I jumped on eBay they do indeed sell them on eBay um, may have different backing plates to this but they do have that model there and the shaft size is 8mm now the problem is because they're out of a printer most of them have got the gear cut on the shaft now looking at this one the original shaft has been pressed out and this shaft put in and it's only an 8mm 8 mm bit of shaft so no problem there and they do press out of the drum so just be nice and careful when you do it and you can press your own shaft in to um, carry your propeller which you then get in the hobby shop and get these taper lock um, bosses for an 8mm shaft with the screw on um, tapered nut on the front as you would find on their model aeroplanes and um, I also looked and hob some hobby shops sell those big or blades that size um, so you can pretty much buy everything you need off of eBay and from the hobby shop for this little project so I hope that helps you all once again it is a NIDAC motor um, model number E128280 uh, variation I'm guessing that's the variation of that model is the H4264 alright guys um, I'm going to keep putting this together now that I've taken it even further apart but um, that was for you guys that wanted to, wanted to know what motors were being used and they are a very high quality motor very nicely wound um, the drum has a full magnet in it you can see where it's been joined there hope I didn't crack that, no it's definitely a glued joint so um, yeah and then just grab yourself some um, three phase bridge rectifiers off of eBay as well um, these ones look like they're a bit homemade maybe he had boards printed up and just um, put all the components in himself I'm not sure but uh, for a couple of bucks each you're better off just to grab them on ebay get ones that are good for say five amps and you're well covered and as discussed in the last video i would leave these alone these are not going to work for you these um, mppt buck converters do yourself a favor uh, jump on ebay and just grab these uh plain jane ones here that is all you need leave these ones alone um, not good enough all right guys uh, 
we'll see you next video you all have a good day or night depending on where you are in the world get your mates to subscribe to my channel because uh, we'll be doing a lot of this fun sort of stuff and uh, research as I have done for the last 12 13 years my YouTube channel has changed I'm a little more into solar now and solar systems but I still mess around with the uh, small stuff like we used to pulse motors etc only now we can do it a lot better because we've got our 3d printer we've got our lithium battery welder We've got all these new products coming out on the market so no doubt we can make some very efficient motors however in saying that it'd be hard to beat something like this for efficiency <laughs>